When we have you connect the wires to the solar breaker in the main service panel, it's a good idea to use a torque screwdriver to apply the proper torque to those important terminal screws. But to tell you the truth, it is not easy to find out what that torque spec is. Now, you may get lucky and be able to pull up a specification from the manufacturer. Like here, we found one from Schneider, which makes the square D breakers. And they have a nice table and it presents to you the recommended torque for those terminals. And here you can see the spec for the typical 2-pole, 240-volt breakers that we put in for solar, 30, 40 amps, something like that. Those need 36 or maybe 45 inch-pounds of torque. And you can even see listed down here for the tandem or twin breakers that you might end up putting in a panel to give more space so you can make room for a solar breaker that spec is given as well, and that's only 25 inch-pounds of torque for those terminals. If you can't read it off the manufacturer's literature, you can typically read the torque spec on the breaker itself. Here, for example, is a Siemens breaker, and if you read on the front, if we zoom in, you can actually read the torque spec right there on the front of the breaker. You can see for wire sizes from small 14 up to gauge 6, the inch-pounds is given as 25. And here's another example. This is a Murray breaker. And if we zoom in on that, you can see there's a big old label on the front, and it specifies the torque. What's interesting here is that it gives different torques for different wire sizes. For small wires, like 14 gauge to 10, you only need 20 inch-pounds of torque. For an 8 gauge wire, you need 25. And for a big old 6 gauge wire, you need 35 inch-pounds of torque. And here's another Murray breaker. This is a big 100 amp. And if we look closely at that, you can see it specifies the torque as well for a range of wires from 4 up to 3 aught, so big old wires, it requires that you have 55 inch-pounds of torque. So I just wanted to show that the amount of torque actually goes up with the amperage and the size of wire that it's going to be connecting to. And finally, here's something that you run into a lot in the real world. This is a Eaton breaker, and it doesn't have a torque spec written on the front. It's actually stamped in on the side, and it's really hard to read. The nice thing is if you're talking about putting in your solar breaker, you're actually going to insert that so you get to read the torque spec on the side of a breaker, if that's where it is, uh, so that you know the proper torque for that breaker. So that's it. It's really important to properly torque those wires down to the manufacturer's specification, and I just wanted you to know where you can find them. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.